Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Sims 4. And this is a super, super exciting episode because I have Sims 4 Parenthood. It officially comes out tomorrow, so you guys can get a hold of it and give it a go tomorrow. EA sent me a code a little bit early so I can show it to you guys today, which I'm really excited for. So we're gonna test out all the new features on all the little, the little kids that we've got. We've got James who we aged up in the last episode, so he is a teen. And some of you guys think he's pretty hot, so he did well. We did, he did good, he did good. He looks actually a lot like a younger version of Ali, with a few little Claire features in there as well. We've obviously got little baby Jess, who is very close to becoming a child. I was gonna age her up last episode, I may do it this episode, but we can also try out some of those new parenthood features on her. Then Claire is pregnant again, and we have added the lot trait to get twins or triplets. And we've added the fertility trait to Claire to try and get some twins, so fingers crossed we will be able to have twins. I'm gonna get her to watch some kids TV shows. You guys recommended that to me, so we've got lots and lots of kids to try out all these new awesome parenthood features in today's episode. So guys, let's kick off straight away and let's try Sims 4 Parenthood. If you like this episode, please don't forget to hit that little like. Your support is so important to me and thank you guys for all the comments. You guys give me so much support each video and it's absolutely amazing. So thank you guys so much. So guys, let's kick off and let's boot the game with the Parenthood DLC installed. <gasps> Here we go. Welcome to Sims 4 Parenthood. So we can develop our parenting skills. We can actually level up the Sims parenting skills which sounds really really cool and we can gain new abilities through experience and choosing when to discipline when to encourage and when to let the kids figure out on themselves there's also new family activities so it sounds like we can do loads of cool new stuff together like science projects with the little kiddies at school you can shape our sims childhood so the decisions we make as parents now have a lasting impact on our child's future Guys, that's not a great sign because Claire and Ali have not been the best parents. They've got a lot better, but it definitely is not easy. And it will also shape their personality, their traits, and their guide uh, guides their path to adulthood. And finally, we can personalize our household a little bit more. So it sounds like we get some extra new items, which is great because Claire wants to spend a thousand simoleons. Simoleon. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 21, I'm still getting that wrong. She wants to spend a thousand simoleons on her children. So that's perfect. And here's the little pictures that we get. So, kid making a mess. Kid being a, a naughty teenager. <laughs> kid making some science stuff. And just everyone kind of chilling out together, having a beautiful time. So it looks like it's going to be really, really fun, guys. And we've got this new, like, updated little bit here. And where's the parenthood pack? Here it is. So here is how it looks in kind of your main little little sim menu. Whenever you update the game, you tend to have to turn back on custom- Oh, it's fine. If you guys have ever added mods and you can't find them in the game, this is what you need to be taking. So you need to be checking this little guy here to make sure that you get all of your custom mods. So hopefully that won't have switched my mods off. And guys, let's load our cheeky little game. There's the fun- Look at Teen! Teen James is taller than Ali. He's like full on grown up now, guys. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. I can't help but dance to this music as well. To see how it's gonna look when we play our little game. Here is everyone. Oh yes, the, the custom content is still there. A few of you guys have said that um, although James, we've taken him down this athletic route just to kind of differentiate him from these two a little bit. Something a little bit new. You also want him to have a few nerdy traits because he was a smart guy. He was very good at school. And you basically want to make sure he has some nerdy traits as well. So, we will be doing that too. We'll be making sure that he is a well-rounded individual and grows up into a very well-rounded adult. Oh, is that better? Hello, hello, hello. Here we go. <gasps> Here we go! Okay. I mean, our, there's a lot of new items for the kids' room. Should we just have a quick look on what the new stuff is? Let's turn those lights on. Let's get a beautiful, beautiful daytime sun. Let's put some of these down. Here we go. So you can filter to just parenthood. <gasps> so there's actually brand new entire rooms that you can add for parenthood, but we just want to be looking at kind of the individual items a little bit. Oh my gosh, there's a new, there's a new parenthood kitchen. New kitchen, guys. Okay, so they've given us some new crazy lights. <gasps> they've given us a, to a towel, a uh, towel. An owl nightlight. I love that idea. Can it fit anywhere? Oh, yes, we can give Jess a little nightlight next to her Pikachu there. Oh, and look at this one. It's like an, an earth nightlight. It can go on the wall. Should we put it above her bed? There we go. So she's got a little nightlight now so she doesn't get scared in the dark. There's some really... Oh, wow! Oh, oh my gosh, I love that. I love that so much. Can we put this in here as well? Maybe... 
Maybe we put this one in the uh, upon here? Okay, it's letting us kind of shine it on the window a little bit. So there's some really cool new stuff. <gasps> They've got new... Oh, a Boo Boo Billy Doctor Placer! Or a te Tum Tum Teddy Doctor Placer! Yes, you can have all these things, Jessikins. Where should we pop this? Okay, I'll tell you what. We're gonna just pop these in the inventory for now so that we can put more cool stuff in there. Which has also just made me realize this is kind of... <laughs> this is popping through Jess's room a little bit, but never mind. Okay. There we go. We'll give him the new tiny, tiny little place set. And let's put some little lights here as well. So we've got lots of lovely room. They're kind of like little mason jar lights. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, what else can we give her? <gasps> Build and blocks play table. I'm giving her all this stuff. And we're planning on leveling her up this episode. So that's kind of interesting. <gasps> okay, maybe this, we'll stick this outside for now. We'll just, we'll just pop it here for now, okay? And then there's some new decor items as well. Leave me alone, kids wall decal. Oh, it's like a tree. It's actually called leaf, leaf me alone. Okay. <gasps> How cute is that? So we can put like, <gasps> look at these pretty little trees on the wall. We've kind of got a few decals going on in this room already. I mean, we don't want to, we don't want to overdo it. Maybe we just put some over here. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love that. And then you've got this one as well, which is like, oh, it's kids paintings, pictures that they've made. And then these little cheeky ones too. That's more like a teen. Okay, let's go pop this maybe in Jim Bob's room. Can we fit it anywhere? He's got quite a lot of stuff on his walls already, hasn't he? Maybe if we stick this one on here, then we can put this kind of one on here. There we go. Check that out. What other stuff have we got? <gasps> he can oh, it's like a basketball wall decal. That's pretty cool. And then we've got this guitar wall decal. <gasps> that would go quite cool in his room, but... His walls are packed, guys. His walls are really, really packed. And then we've got just some, like, stuff as well. So we've got a kid's toy tub. We've got, like, bathroom clutter. More bath- Oh, like a kid's makeup. Like a teen kid's makeup tray. And then just, like, trash. Like, floor trash. I mean, that's definitely a little bit more teen. But you can just put trash on the floor if you want. What's this as well? The most special vase ever. Oh man, I don't have any room for- they've got so much stuff already, so much stuff. Oh look! You can put it in here! Oh look at that! How cool is that? I can't actually fit the kid's toy tub anyway. She has so many things, guys! There we go. So I've managed to just squeeze this little toy tub in the corner there as well. I think that's all the new stuff. There's no new beds. There's a few new little chairs. I guess that these are quite good if you've got like a teen and a vanity. Everything takes up so much room. And then let's just see if there's anything else anywhere. Okay, so we've got a new little cooker. A throwback stove. That's quite cool, actually. That's quite a cool, cheeky little stove. We've got no new plants. Got some new chairs. Some new counters. Quite nice. Quite nice little counters there. New dishwasher. We've got some new kitchen clutter. Some, like, plates. A dishwasher thing. A fruit bowl. A little bread thing as well. Some quite cool new stuff. Got a new fridge. This is a new fridge. I like that. I think that's really cool. We have a super, <laughs> a super ugly new shower. No, oh, thank you. Thank you. Go away. Thanks. New sink. Little floating ugly sink. Or this kind of, that's quite cool. I like that. That's nice. Oh, we've got some new mirrors. <gasps> that would be so good for a teen girl's room. I love that. We've got this sort of, uh, where's it gone? That's really nice for a teen girl's room as well. I mean, it doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> This new stuff's hard to place. There we go. It's kind of like uh, got a little flower on it. Very nice for a little teen. And then this one as well. And we've got a laundry basket. Oh, wow. I thought they'd kind of got rid of, the, rid of the laundry stuff, but apparently not. <gasps> okay, they've got some new older sort of kids' beds. So they've got this one and they've got this one. James has got a double. Like, James is pretty lucky. Hello, Charlotte Pook31. Um, James is pretty lucky because he already has an adult bed. He's got a double bed already. A new table. There's a new bookshelf. There's a private journal. So this is like, is this like clutter stuff? Or oh, indoor activities. <gasps> so if you give them a journal, they will improve their writing and creativity skill. I think we give James one right now. Let's just give him a bit of a more boyish one. Here we go. Oh, we can put it in here. Or we can lock away his journal in here because he doesn't want anyone to get it. And we can also get a family bulletin board. There's also a new little nightstand. I don't know if James actually has a nightstand. No, he doesn't. But there's a potential new nightstand. Oh, and then there's some new stuff for outside. Okay, let's have a look what we've got. We have hanging lights. 
Um, oh, that's cute. So you could, we've got quite tall doorways, but you could kind of hang them like along here. Quite cute. I mean, we have a lot of hanging lights in our garden anyway, but they're just like this kind of thing. Quite pretty, quite pretty and cute. And then there's a slightly longer one as well. So if you wanted to kind of put some like this and you've got like that. That's the, I think that's quite pretty for outside. Very nice. We could put a little shorter one on, I oh, know, longer one maybe on here as well. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. And then we've got a hobby board. Oh, these, these aren't outdoor activities. We've got this little hobby board kind of thing here. If you're into like crafty kind of things. I mean, that family bulletin board's pretty garish. Let's not lie, guys. Let's not lie. And then some snowboards as well. So pretty cool. There's quite, I think that's all of the new stuff. I can't see anything else. And that seems to be the whole shebang. So there's quite a lot of new items, but let's see the new gameplay now, guys. So, everyone is currently sleeping, apart from James. Because James is downstairs having himself a little drink. Now, I wanted to see if there was any custom eyebrows to give him. So let's just quickly check on that. <gasps> so guys, you can give them like spots and stuff. Because obviously, teenagers, you do start to get little spots and stuff. However, we're going to make James a little bit spot free, okay? And then I think this is like, this is some custom concept for like under eye lines that I downloaded. Cause you know, people do have like lids underneath their eyes as well as above their eyes. And then I have some like skins and stuff. Cause this is like an alternate skin. I think it gives him a little bit too much of a V shape though. And we have this one, which Ellie and I always laugh at cause it's like, it's really dusty looking. Like it looks like they've got glitter all over their faces. I actually think I'm going to give him this skin here. I can't remember what this one is called, but let look at the difference. I think it lets him just look a lot more realistic. So there we go. I actually don't know what body type he's got, you know? Oh, he's, he's right in the middle at the moment. He's right in the middle. So let's have a look at the new clothes and stuff that we've been given. So these are some of the new parenthood sort of clothes you've been given. Quite like teeny, I would say, sort of clothes. We've also been given this big avocado bear <laughs> as part of parenthood, which is kind of scary, but hilarious. I'm really interested to see if they gave us any decent trousers because I think The Sims is pretty bad for trousers. So we've got like this sort of wrapped around, but oh my god, what's going on? What's going on here? Given some sweats, some pajama kind of bottoms, these crazy jeans and these shorts. So not a great selection, really. Let's see if they've given us any cool shoes. No shoeies. No new shoes, I'm afraid. But there is a new styled look, which is like this sort of skater style. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not a big fan. I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling it. You guys did ask that I change James's <laughs> pants, though. I don't think you guys were a big fan. I think I've downloaded some more. Let's see if they've appeared in game. So we could just get him to do an alley and walk around like that. We've got some new jeans. They're the ones he's currently wearing that you guys don't like. These are quite nice. Maybe like these kind of things. I think they're pretty cool. We also got these cool like ripped jeans. I think ripped jeans are quite cool as well. Or just like some super, super like skinny jeans like these. I don't know. I kind of like those. Yeah, I, I kind of am liking these guys. I think he looks cool with like the skinny jeans and the leather jacket kind of. Well, it's almost like half leather, half like sweetie jacket. He looks pretty badass. And then you guys, some of you wanted the top knot and some of you didn't. It was a real like straight down the middle divide. I like the top knot. I think the top knot's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Here is how we would look with the top knot. I think he's kind of cool, but I, I'm gonna stick to what he's got at the moment, just for now. And then here's the custom content eyebrows. So, I think, uh, oh man, they're kind of hairy though. Oh no, I don't like those. Too girly, 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 mean. Those ones aren't so bad. Very girly. I mean, I think these are the only boyish ones. I guess it's between these two. I don't know. Is it like better for original? These ones? Or these ones? It's hard. I don't know. I think I'm actually going to keep him with his OG eyebrows. I think that's what I'm going to do. <gasps> How cute does he look with freckles? I love freckles though. You guys might not. So I'll cut the freckles out. But I really like freckles. And then just the final thing I'm going to do is just give him eyelashes. Because I think it looks really weird that there's no like... Because men have eyelashes. I actually think men tend to have better eyelashes than women. So I'm just going to put some really soft ones on. I think that's pretty good. Because men do have eyelashes. And what's cool about these ones is they actually come out. Like, they look real. So if you've got the mod, the custom content that I uploaded for you guys, you'll have real eyelashes. 
So there we go. I think James is a handsome young man. He's a handsome young man. Just gonna give him some little jewelries. Oh, that one's not worked. Look. <laughs> there we go. A slightly updated James with eyelashes and with a bit of a skin overhaul. I think he's looking pretty good, guys. He's definitely a very handsome young boy. I will definitely say that about him. So there we go. He is slightly updated now, guys. There is little James in the flesh looking pretty good, but it is definitely time to go to bed, James. And then tomorrow we can test out all the new features. Where's he gone? Is he gone to bed? There we go. And you know what we can do for now as well? We can hang this cheeky little painting that Claire did in the last episode. She painted like, oh my god, is it? Good? No, it's gonna go back. She painted everybody so that um, all the kids, so she can remember them at every stage. So let's just quickly hang this as well. I mean, James's ones are there. Ali is there. Where are we gonna fit little Jessicans? We've got a lot of pictures in this house. Maybe here, okay? Baby just there. And then when she levels up, we can put her slightly bigger one on. I mean, we... Stop. Stab it. Stab it. No. Okay, fine. There. Okay. Look, if you go between James, Ali, James, Ali. Uh, James is literally a little version of Ali. It's so cute. I want them to stand side by side so we can do a comparison. Oh no, Jess is woken up and she's very sad. Very sad. She's gonna go get a slice of cake to cheer herself up from James's birthday. Oh, guys, look at this, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! It's so cute! This one should be glowing as well. I love that. I love, like, mobiles and stuff like that for kids. Like, I forgot about all this stuff. Obviously, you have that when you're a kid. It's so good! Okay, Jess is trying to get downstairs on her own. You can do this, Jess! She's sad because she had a nightmare as well. Oh, Jess. She is Matilda. She's had to do so much of this childhood on her own. Look at her high chair. It's all stink. <gasps> yeah, well done, Jess. She's managed to get herself a slice of cake, at least. She's very sad, but I'm sure the cake's gonna cheer her up, guys. She's all about this eating outside life. I think she likes to watch the sunrise. Look. She's a, she's a very artistic little girl. She's got that from her mum, because her mum's a really good painter as well. I think these guys are maybe up. No, nope. everyone's still sleeping. It's just Jess. Just Jess on her own, using her diaper, Jessikins. No. Don't do that. Okay, why don't you go try this out? Oh, it's for kids. You're too little. I'm sorry, you're a little bit too little. Okay, I'm gonna get Jess to play with this tiny little dot. Can she not do it yet? Oh, it's a child. It's for a child who wants to become a doctor or a vet. <gasps> Imagine if she became a vet. That would be so cool. Okay, Claire is very uncomfortable and actually has modern sickness. But it's time to go and, and see the little, little toddler. I mean, have we got new stuff that we can do? <gasps> Parenting. Teach to say please and thank you. Teach to say I'm sorry. Okay, what's, what's she doing? What's she doing? Oh, look how preggish she is, guys. She got a pregnancy hump on. She's up. What's she doing? She's just going to go put her down. Oh, Claire, you're still not quite there yet, are you? What's wrong with her? Claire, come on. You're meant to be embracing parenthood now. Why don't you go and give her a bath? I know you're hungry and you're smelly as well, but kids come first. Is she just ignoring me? Yeah, she's just ignoring me, guys. There we go. At least one parent's got this down. Obviously, James is still sleeping because teenagers sleep for ages and ages. It's just how they roll. <gasps> Ali, Ali's reached parent, parenting level one. He can now encourage kids' behavior and influence kids to clean. You can reprimand bad behavior by asking the child not to do the action or simply yelling at the child to stop. We don't want to yell at our children, but that's because he's bathing her and like looking after her. There we go. He's being a good parent, so his parenting is leveling up. And I assume this is like a skill. Yeah, look, parenting skill. Okay, that's pretty cool. So can we get Ali to do some um, parenting? <gasps> Teach to say please and thank you. Oh, Jess is like, no, I don't want to learn that. She's off. <laughs> She's off. She's running away. James is up looking all rugged and morningy. With his little messy bed hair. I'm just kidding. That's just his real hair. Oh my god, what is his eye doing? James, what's your eye doing? <gasps> he looks kind of evil there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave him to that. <gasps> he can hug her lovingly. I think that's new. Oh, I want to see how this looks. Oh, wait, let me see, wait, let me see. Oh, that's cute. A nice little hug. The camera in this game, man. The camera in this game is cray-cray. 
Oh, what? What are they doing together? What is this craziness? You're meant to be teaching her things. But instead, they're just doing this nonsense. Oh. It's more fun to be a crazy parent, I guess. <gasps> James, why are you wearing those horrific clothes? James, what? why have you just reverted back? What the hell? Oh my gosh, never wear that other outfit again. Ever. <gasps> Look, he's got loads of new things he can do. <gasps> he can go hang out with Dia. <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at Dia now. You guys were asking about her. She's got freaking blue hair. How cool is she? <gasps> so James is actually going on his first date. Ah! And how cool did all those girls that he hung out with as a kid end up being? They turned into like absolutely awesome, cool little teens with crazy hair and crazy dreams. I love that. They've come a long way since playing on their starship together. <gasps> They're actually all dressed up as well. So let's check out Dia. Look at this. Oh, she looks kind of mad. I don't know why she looks so mad. Like, look how dapper James looks. And Dia's like, I don't know. She's kind of mad at him. <gasps> why are you so angry, Dia? Oh, my gosh. Okay, we need to make her feel good. Be nice to her. Do nice things. Whisper about crush? <gasps> Discuss the best violinist? Well, it ain't going to be you. Ask about woohoo. James! James! What's, what's wrong with you, James? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He can literally like just go in for the romance straight away. There's a few little potential girlies on the horizon though. Look, he's showing her something on his phone. What's he doing? Oh my gosh. Like, check that out. Check that out. Just showed us some sick vines. I can't believe this is the outfit she's worn to here. I kind of want to just edit her. I want to just edit her. Oh, what? Is she, is she just running away from me? She just, is she pregnant? I don't think she is. She's only a teen. She can't be. But she's just run off. Where has she just gone? What the hell? I thought we were on a date together. He's off to go, he's off to go chat with the bar lady instead. I think she's a bit old for you, James. I think she's a little bit old for you. <gasps> Do you think these two are sisters? Oh no, they're not, but they look just the same. Why didn't you invite her as well? He's got two girls on the go, guys. Two girls on the go. And look at this. All the staff have come to chat with him. Oh, and look who's decided to come back. Okay, she's coming over as well. I, he's try, he's, maybe he's just got loads of friends that are girls, you know? Oh my gosh, check out this. They've got this whole new sort of dealio about growing up. He's got to learn manners. Responsibility. He's got to learn conflict resolution. Empathy. And he's got to learn emotional control. So together we have to deal with all of these things to make sure that he grows up well. That's a crazy amount of things to do just to grow up. This girl ain't turning up, by the way. His dreams of a double date have been dashed. <gasps> Look how crazy his hair went then. So you know what? We're just going to get a table for the two of us. <gasps> She's here. She's here. He is starving at this point too as well. Wait, is she going to come sit with us? Wait, wait, wait. She needs to come and sit with us as well. Oh my gosh, check James out. James the lad. So there's her. I like her outfit. I think she's put a little bit more effort in. She's pretty... Oh no, but she's all dressed up. She saw the other girl and she's like, well, I'm going to get all dressed up too. So James has literally taken both the girls out. On a bit of like a... I don't know if it's like a triple date. Or if he's just hanging out with his friends. But can we just talk about for a second? Oh, she's looking down at her phone. Look back up again, hen. These girls are super similar looking. Yeah. They've even got the same hair, yeah. just different colors. So they're all they're all chatting away, guys. They are all chatting away. I don't know which one he's going to prefer at the end of the date, though. But check these. Which one would you go for, guys? Which one do you think he should go for? I swear they're actually twins, but they don't have the same surname, which is really weird. Look, so we've got Salma Al Ariba and Dia Data. So they're not they're not related, but he already knows that Salma is neat. So he knows a little bit more about Salma. And I think he kind of prefers her to Dia, although I think Dia was his best friend as a kid. So he's got he's got a big decision on his hands. Which which girly does he go for? Which one does he go for? They're both pretty cool ladies. <gasps> She's pretty animated. She's pretty crazy. I love her outfit. I love her boots and stuff. She's she's a pretty stylish lady. Oh, she's off. What? Where's she just gone? She's just <laughs> she's just left to go for a run. What the hell? That's the second time this has happened to him on this date. Look, her food is just there on the table, like not being eaten. 
So it's just these two now. James even ordered wine. He's a teenager. They, they must be in France. Oh, she's finally come back now with a new outfit on. She is going in to impress him. She's like, I'm just going to go for a run. Changes into a tight little gym gear. Goes for a run. Gets changed and comes back. Like, literally, Ooh, I'm gonna get him to do this. Where's it gone? Ask about woohoo. I just wanna know what they do when they ask. I'm really intrigued. She's not really giving much away. What? They get, she gave nothing away about the woohoo ask. Oh, I, I can't decide, guys. I think she's got a really cute little face with the, the pretty green eyes. But she's kind of got this cool, like, sexy, sassy look. I don't know. Maybe we leave it to James. Maybe we just let James decide au naturel. They finished their meal now, and James's fun is pretty low. I tried to get him to keep doing funny stuff to try and entertain himself, but it's not really working, guys. So I think it's probably time for him to go home, to finish the date and go home. I don't know where Lovely Dia has gone, but she's kind of left already, so... Time for just hugs and bye-byes, okay? I think he had a lovely little double date. I can't believe that. Teen for a day, and he's like, ladies, let's go on a double date. Look at his face. He's like... Aah! Oh, look, they're continuing it alone. They're discussing him, texting. What did you think then? Sending little, little cheeky pictures to their friends about the day. James took us both out, guys. Can you believe that? What a stud. What a stud. What a player. I came back home and look. They're actually just doing this on their own. I didn't even tell them to do that. How nice is that? Claire's actually being a really good parent. Well done. Well done, Claire. 10, 10 points. 10 points. Okay, parenting. Let's do some teaching, okay? We have to do parenting. I don't even think the poor little baby can properly talk yet. So let's do lots of good stuff. Claire's reached parenting level one. She's in her second trimester as well. Oh, look! She's learning manners! Well done, little Jess! Manners skill is going through the roof. Let's have a look at her little breakdown. So her manners, oh wow. You have to do a lot to get it to go up, guys. <gasps> Why is she angry? Oh, Thankless. <gasps> she did not learn good manners there, guys. She did not learn. Conflict resolution, she learned a little bit of there, apparently. Why is she so angry? <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm not sure. This is James. I'm not sure what I want to be when I grow up and all my friends seem to have figure it out. How do I figure it out myself? Pick something you like. Oh my gosh. Ali has advised James. Oh, wow. So Ali came in and advised him. So it increased his emotional control, but his conflict resolution decreases. What? When did this happen? Are they talking to each other right now? Oh, it's because they were having a conversation together. So let's see how that's impacted him. His conflict resolution is bad. Can we train him to be better at that? He can influence him to do things, but there's nothing that he actually needs to do right now. So, But he's talked to him about fitness. He's like, if you want to get buff like me, all, I'll teach you how to jump up, I'll show you the ropes. And he's learned the fitness skill just from Ali talking to him. That's how buff Ali is. Oh, we said we were going to see how similar they look, didn't we? I mean, Ali's got like softer, thicker eyebrows. James is a little bit more like creamed and proper looking. But they're definitely very, very similar looking guys. I think they got exactly the same hair, actually. No, they should have slightly different hair. Oh man, they've got the same hair. I changed Ali's hair. Oh man, okay. I don't want them to look identical to each other. Can you hear Ali singing? So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna change Ali's outfit because I don't want him to look the same. Okay, so Ali's actually got his right hair now. He's meant to have this sort of like curly dealio. I don't know where he got the other hair from, but that's James's hair. So there we go. There's a little, there's a little bit of difference between them now. Claire has been the most awesome parent all day. She's even helping her do a little potty train now. Even though she's Aww, all pregnant and is desperate to wee herself. Yeah, I'm actually desperate to wee as well, guys. Huh. Okay, so James is up. Having some scrambled eggs and bacon. Because it's his first day at school today. He's literally... Look how much that necklace is glowing. It's his first day at teen school. Grown up school. And hopefully he's going to like it. Hopefully he's going to get to chat with his little friends. I mean, oh my gosh, look how much that needs replaced for. <laughs> okay, James, why don't you just hire a little uh, repair service for us, okay? And then you, your fun is pretty low, so why don't you just watch some TV? Je Jessica has fully developed her imagination. Ali just read her to sleep. 
I mean, I know it's a bit of a strange time. Don't judge us for that. We're trying to be a good parent, okay? But at least her um, imagination skills all the way up, which is pretty awesome. School for James starts in an hour. Are you nervous, James? You should be. First day of school, scary. I wonder if I'm making watch romance if you'll get all flirty before school. Watch some romance, James, okay? Oh, it's like a hospital program. It's Grey's Anatomy. They're watching Grey's Anatomy. That's McDreamy. <gasps> okay, he needs to go to school, quick. You don't want to be late, James. You were a model student before. Hopefully, he's still going to be a really good student. Okay, let's get him to make some friends at school, okay? <gasps> James met Lex while at school. I'm just making Claire eat some strawberries to try and increase the chance of her having at least one little girl baby. And she's watching the Kids Network because you guys said that would increase her chances for Sims. Uh, for Sims. <laughs> for twins. So it's a bit of a strange morning for Claire. Okay, let's see what Lex... Oh, wait, wait, that's Ali. I keep getting those two guys confused. Who is Lex? What? What do you mean little kids at school, James? That's weird. You should only be me... Ooh, who's April? Check little April out. Claire's off to work. Even though I think she's more or less in her second trimester... A uh, third trimester now. <gasps> Two hours until the third trimester and she's got morning sickness and she's still going to work because we need the money. Well done, Claire. James met Layla. James, stop meeting little kids. It's weird. Meet some tea. Oh, wow. Oh, she's not. She's She looks like Princess Leia, but she's called Layla. Oh, wow. Look at her with her little Star Wars buds in, guys. Like little... Little buns, not buds, buns. <gasps> James has returned home from school with a project. Complete this project will grant school progress. Addi additional progress will be awarded if the project is completed quickly. <gasps> Where's it? Is it in your inventory? Oh, wow, he's tired. <gasps> Air pressure rocketry. Ooh, maybe, okay, maybe get a little bit of sleep. And then maybe dad can help you out with that. And maybe a shower as well, because you're pretty stinky. Oh, poor James. He's just asleep on the sofa downstairs. James, what are you doing, son? What are you doing sleeping there? Dad, I think, is just about to put little Jessicans in the high chair. Mum's asleep because being pregnant is hard. So Jess is getting her little breakfast on. Dad, you're kind of stink, so why don't you get a shower while she's eating? <gasps> Claire's not reached parents in level two. Can we do some more stuff then? We're, stu we're still on these. We are literally still on these. She can now firmly tell her kids not to do bad behaviors. <gasps> Don't tell me she's hungry again. Oh my gosh. James starts school in an hour and he's literally... <laughs> he's fast asleep. He ain't going nowhere at this rate. He's not done his project. He's a bit of a mess. He's actually a little bit of a mess. Oh, Claire's doing some cute little hugs with Jess. She looks quite funny since she's so pregnant. Oh, she's giving her belly a little bit of a rub as well. Surely she's about to pop. She has to be well into her third trimester now. Look, she has to be given birth. I think this time I'm not going to do the hospital thing. I'm just going to give birth at home. Just leave her to do it. <gasps> winner, winner. James won a school prize. Should we give it to him in front of the class or quietly and privately? In front of everyone. I don't know if he's actually going to like that. He's advised James's school on how to do a situation. His, his, mo his emotional control has increased, but his empathy has decreased. Guys, there's so many options now. I think James's empathy is getting pretty low. <gasps> how can we train him to be good? Oh my gosh, there's so much more to do now as like a parent. It's actually quite, look what Ali's doing. It's actually quite hard to make sure they level up well. He's got really good emotional control though. But his empathy, like empathy and conflict re resolution are both pretty low. They both need to be good, especially empathy, guys. <gasps> Clara's gone into labor. Oh my gosh. Where is she? On the toilet. I mean, you don't want the baby to go in the toilet, Claire. That's not a great place to go into labor. Oh my gosh. Is there anything I can even do now to increase? Let's just save. To increase the chance of it being a twins? Imagine if it's not twins after all this. I'm going to be so, so sad, guys. Please be twins. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm just going to let her give birth at home. Because apparently she can just do everything that she was doing before. And she wants scrambled eggs. And I ain't about to stop her from doing that. So there we go. She's eating her scrambled eggs. Despite the fact that she's very much in labor. And that's plus 40 uncomfortable. So you're not going to get around that. Even if I make her really happy, she's not getting around that. Come on, Claire. Let the baby pop out. How long left? 50 minutes until the baby pops out. Please be twins. Please be twins. Please be twins. Please be twins. Please, please, please. I don't know what I'm going to do if not. I don't know if we can have any more babies. I may have to wait until the next generation. 
She's gonna go have a nap. I mean, you give birth in seven minutes? Seven minutes, Claire. So I'm not quite sure if I would advise that. Claire's about to pop. Look how pregnant she is. Claire, you can't. What? Okay, three, two, one. Baby time. Surely baby time. No? <gasps> Here we go. One bassinet. Oh no, only one bassinet. <gasps> what just happened on the floor? <gasps> she's giving birth, guys. But she's giving birth. Okay, James is a bee student. <gasps> okay, social services have provided one bassinet. She gave birth to a baby girl. Is that it? There's only one. No! There's only one baby. <gasps> oh my gosh, the, the surname has to be Calorie Aiken. And then one of you guys said Emma in the comments. I love that name. So we're going to call her Emma. Please be another one too. <gasps> yes! Yes! Yes, guys, we did it, twins! We finally did it! Ah, okay, Emma and... What about Emma and Emily? Emily and Emma. I think... Oh, Emma and Gemma. Emily, I think Emily's quite nice. Because then, um... They're, like, different, but together at the same time. Emma and Emily Calorie Aiken. That's nice. Also, one of you guys said that you should have one good twin and one evil twin. I love this idea. I love that idea. So we may be doing that, guys, okay? <gasps> Claire and Ellie have twins! Where's the other one? One has popped out of her. I mean, she's super slim again already. Look at that. Look at that. Well done on losing the pregnancy weight. But where's the other one? Where's our other child? Oh! Oh, it's there! Oh, wow! It's with Ollie! <gasps> there we go! Two little chitty winks! <gasps> go and go and fuss over your That's new little baby! Location. So with these guys, we'll be able to do all of the, um... All of the parenthood stuff from the start. The other ones kind of were a bit of a disadvantage. Look at Claire just staring at her like... Oh, how annoying! How annoying that this baby's crying. No, Claire, you're gonna be an awesome parent this time around, okay? Give you loads of stuff to do. Oh god, guys, it started already. Ali is trying to look after two babies. Claire's like, well, I don't know, I don't want to. Ali's going to work, Claire Dowsey, you have to try, but there we go, guys. Two new little babies. I think Jess, I'm gonna hold up on leveling up Jess just until we get a few more skills under her belt. Because look, I don't want her to be, all she's good at is conflict resolution right now. I want her to be a little bit more of a well-rounded kid. Oh, look, look, look. Ali was looking after one baby. James is looking after the other. <gasps> no, you know what I actually did? I lined up all the stuff for James to do because they look so similar. But guys, there we go. I hope you guys like this episode. I showed you loads and loads of parenthood stuff. We did a lot of it with both Jesse and James, Team Rocket. And we have a new set of twins. Two little girls, Emily and Emma. One will be good, one will be evil. Which one? You guys decide. Maybe we'll wait until they grow up and see how they look a little bit. And then we will decide. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what twin should be evil, which one should be good, and what you think of the Parenthood DLC. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode of The Sims 4. Bye!